पॉइजोइल्स फॉर्मूला पॉइजोइल्स फॉर्मूला इन कनेक्शन विथ द रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ लिक्विड थ्रू ए हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्यूब इन द डायग्राम वी हैव ए नैरो हॉरिजॉन्टल ट्यूब एंड दिस इज द एक्सिस ऑफ द ट्यूब दिस इज द एक्सिस ऑफ द ट्यूब and we can denote the length of the tube l is the length of the tube here l is the length of the tube and uh, the tube is xy having two ends x and y p1 and p2 are the pressures pressure of liquid at the end x and y p is the pressure difference which acts from the end x to y that means P is the pressure difference which acts towards right, where P equal P1 minus P2. As P1 is greater than P2, means pressure of the liquid at the end X is greater than the pressure of, uh, of the liquid at the end Y. That's why liquid will flow through the pipe towards right with a rate V by T. V by T, capital V by T, is the rate of flow of liquid and liquid flows into the pipe with a rate v by t with a velocity small v and flows away from the tube or pipe with the same rate that is capital V by t with the same velocity small v. So here we are denoting the rate, uh, flow of liquid. Liquid flows through this horizontal tube or pipe towards right that means from the index to y this is flow of liquid through this narrow horizontal tube of length L and radius R. From the end Y, liquid emerges with the same rate V by T and with the same speed small v. Same speed small v. This is what uh, liquid is flowing through the pipe XY with the rate V by T. with a rate V by T. XY is the pipe of length L and uh, under the pressure difference P, liquid flows towards right from the index to Y. We can denote the radius of the pipe. Here R is the radius of the pipe through which liquid is flowing from the index to y under the pressure difference and eta is the coefficient of viscosity of liquid which is flowing through the pipe or tube xy. According to Poiseuille's formula, the rate of flow of liquid, the rate of flow of a liquid through a narrow horizontal tube or pipe of length L of length L and the radius small r that is the volume of liquid volume of uh, the liquid flowing per second volume of liquid flowing per second through the horizontal tube through the horizontal narrow tube of length L and radius r is given by V by T is given by V by T equal pi P pi P R to the power 4 divided by R to the power 4 divided by 8 eta L 8 eta L that is V by T is equal to pi P R to the power 4 divided by 8 eta L this is the rate of flow of liquid to the horizontal tube of length L and radius R under the pressure difference P equal P1 minus P2. Rate of flow of liquid through a horizontal tube. Rate of flow of liquid through the horizontal tube. This is the Poiseuille's, Poiseuille's formula. where 
V is the volume of liquid, V is the total volume of liquid which flows total volume of liquid which flows through the horizontal tube or pipe under the pressure difference under the pressure difference P equal P1 minus P2 where P1 is the pressure at the end X and P2 is the pressure at the other end Y of the tube between the two ends X and Y of the pipe in time T V is the volume of liquid which, which flows through the pipe in time T in time T eta is the coefficient of viscosity eta is the coefficient of viscosity of liquid eta is the coefficient of viscosity of the liquid which is flowing through the tube and now we can draw the diagram again this is the horizontal tube of length L axis of uh, the tube or pipe and liquid is flowing towards right from the left end to right end, end and V by T is the rate of flow of liquid and L is the length of the pipe we can denote the axis of the pipe and R is the radius of the pipe P equal P1 minus P2 which is the pressure difference and it acts towards right. P1 is the pressure at the end X and P2 is the pressure at the end at the other end Y. In this case as P1 is greater than P2 liquid is flowing from the end X to Y that means liquid flows towards right through the tube or pipe. This is the direction of liquid flow. So according to Poiseuille's formula, anita is the coefficient of uh, viscosity of the liquid and according to Poiseuille's formula, rate of flow of liquid that is V by T equal pi P r to the power 4 divided by A theta L. V by T equal pi P r to the power 4 divided by A theta L. P1 and P2 are the pressure, pressure of liquid at the end X and Y of the tube and P1 is greater than P2. Now we can uh, denote the pressure difference P equal P1 minus P2 as P1 is greater than P2. And P as P1 is greater than P2, liquid flows with the rate V by T through the tube XY towards right. V by T is the rate of flow of liquid. And liquid flows towards right with and flows away from the tube with the same right V by T. Additional information that is we can write down the formula again V by T is equal pi P to the power 4 divided by A theta L. That is the rate of flow of liquid through the horizontal tube. V by T equal pi P R to the power 4 A theta L divided by A theta L which is the rate of flow of liquid through the horizontal tube. Also, V by T can be written as A dot V, where A is the area of cross section, V by T equal A dot V small v, where this is also another formula of rate of flow of liquid, another formula of rate of flow of liquid, where A equal pi R square, which is the area of cross section of the horizontal tube, area of cross section section of the horizontal tube or pipe small v is the velocity with which liquid flows into the tube and flows away from the tube v is the velocity of v is the velocity of or velocity with which the liquid flows into the pipe flows into the pipe or into the tube or flows away flows away from the tube or flow uh, emerges out from the tube or pipe 